going to be using an old faithful, shall we say, Abaddon Black. So I'll pop some of that on our pot. And we want quite a bit of this. And there we go. So I'll just pop that brush down for a second. We might be able to get away with just doing, or just using this brush. Because this is armor plate areas. I'm also going to do the bow this colour as well because hey, I want to. Usually I paint the bow like a reddish brownish colour, but this time for these I would like to do them black, to do it black. It's a nice fancy bow, and if I do it black, I'm dry brush a nice colour over the top of it. So that's what I'm going to do. In the hope that the dry brush will be okay. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that done. I'm going to uh, fast forward these next bits because you've seen me do it once. It's the same colour, so you don't really need to see me do it all. for the, the black. I, mean, I said we wanted a lot of black. We do, although it doesn't look as though we do here. But bear in mind we still have the bugbear's bases to paint. So we have three of those to paint and then we can go around and do the edges of um, these as well. So yes we do have quite a bit of um, uh, used to paint. So that's why I've got a lot of black. <laughs> now I just want to look, because I know I went over with some of these colours and gone over areas that I didn't want painting, so I'll just go up and touch these up again. Um, that's why I said don't worry too much if you hit something that you're not supposed to you can always always touch up afterwards and these are acrylic paint so a, a paler colour paint will go over the top of a darker colour paint sometimes it may not be that easy but it can be done so there's that one now this one this is the one that I really oh one that I really needed to uh, touch up Oh, yeah. 
did make a mess with this particular mini. Well, that's that. Easily sorted. Just a little bit more time, that's all. And when you're hobbying, time doesn't mean anything. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, next, I'll just double check this fella. We have missed a bit here. Um, and here. But apart from that, I think every word that I needed to get is covered. No, which you've got a little bit there. There we are. So that's what we have so far. Next, as I said, we're going to be doing the little bit at the front, there. <coughs> and for that we're going to be using a yellow. And that yellow is going to be Avaland Sunset. Well, it's because we want to get a kind of goldy colour look to it. And this is a base paint, so it's going to be thicker than a layer paint. And we'll cover better. Especially in the areas where I haven't quite got the correct um, coverage. There we go. There's that. I'm going to use that yellow also on the strap. Go across the chest. And I'm going to do that with each of the minis. So let's do the straps first. To the little collar thing that he has. There we go. Just like so. And same again with this fella. what I'm doing. But, uh, it's the same thing as I say on each one. There we go. And that is basically that. Next we have just that belt to do now and the belt again is going to be the same on each one and I really haven't decided what colour to use for the belt um, back of it let's go with the other one sunset we use the belt and the colour the same colour why not give the belt and the collar and the fastenings and the top. Actually that isn't part of the belt I've come to realise now. So I'm going to come back and actually paint that properly. Mm. 
as that is part of the um, I don't know really what to call it but this part here but we painted purple I did think originally it was part of the belt but looking at it now it isn't so we're going to come back to that and paint it the appropriate colour once we've finished doing this I say, mistakes will happen don't let it bother you and certainly don't let it put you off and more importantly what you've got to remember is that your painting your miniature will not be exactly the same as mine even if you use the same colour you'll see things differently than I will that's just the way it works So don't try to if you're going to try, if you're doing the same as I am on these don't expect it to be the same because you will be disappointed it isn't going to be and finally we'll get this one done and then we'll get back into doing the um, this part with, with each of the colours. I'm not going to show you that one because you've already seen me doing it. I'm just touching up. So what I'll do is I will um, have a look now once this has dried. I'll do a quick edit and uh, we can carry on from the next step. Okay, so it's just going to be a bit of a jump edit when I finish this, which is going to be around about um, where are we? Now. Okay, so we're back. And as you can see, they're all done. Um, not quite dry yet, all of them, but they are nonetheless done. Um, I've had to go over the purple a couple of times because it was uh, a funny colour to paint over the yeah. <laughs> hour. But one of those things. Right, so it's time we started on washes now. We can put these away. And the first wash we're going to be using is Agrax Earthshade. Okay, so that is going to go over new enough everything. Um, all the, in fact, I'm going to start on the green one first because that's the one that's new enough dried. It's even going on the green. Now I'm watching what I'm doing with this. I don't want an incredibly heavy wash. Especially on the skin areas. Um, I just want it to be nice and nice gentle wash. There we are. And there's nothing really more going to be done with the these bandages and I think it's just going to be the case of um, wash <coughs> and then I might do a slight highlight a very pale highlight on them <coughs> not a clue yet depending on what they like when they dry but as I'm telling the dry, I can't really do anything about it. Now I am going to avoid putting this on the mane of the animal because I want the mane to be a different colour completely to the mane body. Um, so I'll try to avoid that. Um. <coughs> I don't know what I was 
going to say then, never mind. I'll just try and make it nice and a nice soft wash over the skin tone. I'm going to avoid, as I say, the mane. Um, but we need to get into the bottom end of the mane. Obviously. And the ears, don't forget the ears. I'll watch, for, watch for pooling. We don't need we don't need it pooling in this in these minis. There we go. That's the first one. And now this one. Oh, so it's all going to get the same colour wash, except for the main. Um, I've noticed as well that I went over the long braids that he has. Um, on the previous one, so I'm going to have to possibly do something about that, depending on how it dries. Don't know yet, but it's going to have a, a mix, a mixed wash for the main. And it's going to be a mix of um, Caribou Crimson and Black. I don't want well Caribou Crimson and Non Oil. Um, I don't want it incredibly dark red. But I definitely do not want it to be an incredibly pale one either. So just a touch of non oil in with the um, in with the red will actually do hopefully exactly what I want it to do. But we'll, we'll see how it goes when we come around to wash that. <laughs> So that's getting to the end of this part. Um, what I'm going to do now is um, change washes. And we want this to be um, a little more contained. Um, because it needs to be... Um, oh, I haven't got anything to put it in. Oh, there's a... I have to try and use this. Keep it clean. Okay, so we're taking Carolberg Crimson, which is this colour, putting quite a bit of this on the palette. And into that, we're going to put some, when I can find it, Null Oil. I forgot about the sm small bottles of this. <laughs> now we don't want much of this. It is used just to darken Uh, 
and now and then after that we're going to be putting a spot and I mean a spot of our exert shade in just to make it more browny than red there we go. and this colour is going to be for the mains So, just to add a little difference in colour, that's all. I've done a bit too much, but never mind. Do I try? Add a little bit of colour here and there to different places of this one, seeing as we have. In fact, let's go through the into the mouths with this colour as well. There we go. So that's that. We'll just wash our brush off, dry it off a little bit, because I've noticed here we have a bit of pooling around this area. And I've missed this part of the bandage anyway. And take that. And anywhere where you, where you can see any pooling, just take it off with the brush. And there we are. So can't do any more with this these fellas now. Um, because we have to wait for them to dry, obviously. So while we are waiting for them to dry, um, I'm on the video. When we come back, we'll carry on highlighting and hopefully get them finished. So until then, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.